Hello everyone, welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. This is Johnny. Today I'm gonna introduce a fantastic free service. It's coming from Skyway Element. They provide in 75 gigabytes object storage space for you to free to use. It's compatible with S3 protocol that brings lots of opportunity to integrate with the next cloud, which I'm gonna talk about. As you can see from here, 75 gigabytes free every month. There's some limitations. Most likely you can use it with your file storage for 75 gigabytes without paying a penny. I'm gonna introduce how we can integrate with Nextcloud how we're gonna use in our share x these tools to uploading your screenshots to this storage free storage service let's start it first thing you need to have a scaleway account just register one as i did and secondly you need to create in your new bucket Let's try this one. You can name it uh, as you want. Next cloud. I name my bucket as next cloud. Choose a region and then set your bucket visibility. Put the public. Then you can create this bucket. Um, we cannot use this name. Okay, we create our bucket. So, as you can see, I have two buckets created. The test photos it's like created previously, but this one is the one we're gonna focus on. After you create this, then you have to get your credential. You need to create in your API keys. So I already created one for my testing before, but I'm gonna create a new one. This is important. You need to copy this somewhere in case you forget it because you're going to use it in your next step. Especially the secret key. It only can show you once. Once you lose it, you have to regenerate it. So we create a list, then what's the next step? It's very simple. We're gonna go to our next cloud and mount it. If you watched my previous video, next cloud video, you know how to mount uh, storage, local storage, external storage. So we're gonna do the same. So we already installed uh, uh, external storage support. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the administrator page. Settings, administration page, there's um, external storage menu. So we're gonna create in a new external storage. So I already have one, Amazon S3, I created before. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete it. I'm going to create a new one. We're going to call it a scale, scale way. And then the storage will be Amazon S3. So the bucket, we know the bucket, we call it the next cloud. Let's check. The host name. We can find it out from our bucket. Object storage. bucket settings if you look at the bucket endpoint you'll find out those informations so we're gonna copy that the host name will be s3.fr-par-scw.cloud the region is
and now we can uh, put the ac access key and the secret key here which we copied from previous window We can do enable sharing because we're gonna share it out. Automatically it can check mark here. It's verified. That means it's it's working now. Once we go back to files, we can see scale wave folder. Now we can create in new folder test. And you also can start into uploading the files here. Once you create the folder, you should be able to see it from the bucket object storage bucket here. You see the test folder shows here as well. Whatever you made a change in next cloud, it will reflecting into your scaleway bucket. Fantastic, but we can make it better. For me, usually I use in share X. Usually I use in share X destination settings to upload the screenshots I captured from local screen to my share folder in the cloud. Right now I'm using Backblaze B2, but we can use Nextcloud to do that. So let's configure that. So go to destinations, destination settings. You will see own cloud slash Nextcloud settings. That is my nextcloud.51sec.org URL. I already put my admin username here, password here, folder. Since we changed the folder name, we're going to change it as well. We call it a scale way test folder. Let's look at the root folder. The folder name has to be exactly the same. So scale way and then test folder. So we gonna capture our screenshot and then automatically upload to this folder. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna automate take this step. So we're going to create a shareable URL after you upload the, your image. You want to have a URL, so then you can open it and share to your friends, share to the internet. So keep that settings and also keep own cloud 8.1 plus compatibility. That's it. Uh, for share X, one more settings, you need to change the behavior. Right now, the image uploader is go to Backblade B2. So what we want to do is what we want to go to next cloud. Choose that. So right now, image upload next cloud. So next step, we're going to take a screenshot, test it to see if it's working. Print screen. I'm capture this area and apply changes and to upload. I should get the link. So I get a remote server, return the error, not found, next cloud. Let's test it. I press the print screen key and now capture the area here and um, 
to verify these settings all looks good then apply changes and continue the task and then uh, this screenshot should automatically upload to the next cloud and also return me back with the URL because that's my settings so let's take a look test yep I already captured two screenshots and let's return the URL here that's the last one we captured basically we are able to directly capture screen and upload the screenshot to scale away object storage space and all will be automatically and you will get the URL back you can share with your friend and share to your internet it's very helpful to use also it's free so um, I would like to share this to you guys hopefully you enjoyed it thank you for watching Thank <music> you.